My whiskey is, you won't believe this, um, it's called Zodum whiskey, Millstone. It's got a little English thing, so that's Dutch and that's English. And it's actually a Dutch whiskey. I didn't know they made such thing. Well, I do because I had this in my cupboard. Dutch single malt whiskey, only five years old, which is far too young, really. I think it's about a hundred dollars if, if you can find it, <laughs> if you actually wanted to. Lightly peated. Now, I had it once. I couldn't believe that the Dutch actually made whiskey, uh, but I didn't give it the proper tasting. So we'll try again. And I've taken it out because another bloke, my guest, is John Roskam, head of the Institute for Public Affairs, who, like me, has got well, he's got one Dutch parent. I got two. Um, your dad. So does that mean I'll Although like you this? Although you identify as Polish through your mother's side, isn't it? Does that mean I like this? I have no idea. I just thought we better, you so know. The next time I'm on, you can have Polish whiskey. I don't know they make it. Polish vodka, I don't Polish know. Vodka, <laughs> vodka. I don't know but Plum anyway, Brady. well, have a, have a taste of this. It's uh, from right on the uh, Belgian border, and the Belgians know their alcohol. Now, does that mean you should put that 1.5 metres away and I just reach I don't know. for I'll it? give you the smaller one because you never okay. like them anyway. OK, that's 1.5 metres. Just blow the germs off, uh, the virus off. I, I was thinking, Andrew, outside of my family, yeah. my neighbours and the people I see at the supermarket, you are the first person I've seen in person probably in about three or four months. You're about the first guest that isn't Sky that sat there. It makes such oh. a difference. Human contact is... We need to have speak we to learned people. now that human contact is so important? That's vital. You know, it's like these people, yeah, they, they, they go around saying... Um, uh, we'll do a concert, you know, like yeah, yeah. we'll do a concert, and but it'll be here, you know. It'll just be on on your screen. On a TV. You don't actually go. It doesn't seem to make the same impact. And, and if I hear "take yourself off mute" one more time, <laughs> we should drink this. Well, I just uh, have a sip of this. Tell me what you think. Cheers. From near Tilburg. I don't know whether you've been to Tilburg. Where is that in the Netherlands? Very, very south. It's nice. Well. For whiskey, it's nice. Mm. Mm. What mm. sort of watch are you wearing tonight, Andrew? A bit Andrew? of bourbon. Well, look. <laughs> it's you, you, told me, you told me you got a text from a good friend. I got a house. stinker. You got a stinker. <laughs> and whenever I get a stinker from Terry McCran, you know, like there are some people who criticise me. My back goes up, and I'm thinking, "You're an idiot," and I'm going to go you. When I get one from Terry McCran, I'm thinking, "Oh I'm no, idiot. what have I done? I'm an idiot." I never, I never disagree with Terry. All right, here's, here's the problem. It's top of the show, right? I said, Australia Post, what the hell? Your paid public servants are really good. Well, they're not quite public servants because it's sort of like, you know. But as good as, as good as. As good as. Guaranteed by yeah. the Commonwealth is a big um, uh, shareholder. We pay them top salary. Yeah. Christine Hogg gets, gets, gets one and a half million plus yes. bonuses. And I'm thinking, what do you need incentives for? If you're not going to do the job properly for that money, sack them if they don't. But she's gone, given incentives of $3,000 Cartier watches, and I said, that is ridiculous and when I'm everyone else you. is getting a haircut. And, and Terry you. said, this is commercial. Read his column in the paper tomorrow. It's much better than I can sum up or want to sum up. He said, it, well, essentially, that the Prime Minister's an idiot, and bracket, so am I. Oh, I never disagree with Terry, but I do now. A Cartier watch? What are you going to do with a $3,000 watch? Well, I think Terry's argument would be, well, uh, you know, sure, give them the $3,000 well, in cash. Well, yeah, it might be cash, it sense. might be a bonus, but, whatever, but no. The principle, no, well, the whether principle. it's a watch or something, a, a small incentive to get a big reward. Yeah. What do you reckon? No. No, uh, it is a commercial I'm going enterprise. I'm going to get in a second. No, it is a commercial enterprise. It is a billion-dollar business. Um, but you have to understand the public. And it's, You're a capitalist no, no, I, I, tooth and no, claw. No, I am. But at the same time, this is what we have spoken about when we've been on Zoom or before that in person to Australians. There's some people who haven't lost their job, who've even had pay rises, who've had a pretty nice time over these last six months. Australia Post is an important organisation. It's actually delivering a slower, less good service than it was six months ago. It's overflow, over flooded, fine with uh, people clicking things on the internet and having them delivered. But you have to understand the public. There's a lot of people who have lost their jobs. Oh, well, your own staff. Who have, it was have staff it was some of their own staff that blew the whistle on this. No, because it's, they're it's laying off right. other staff. And it, it's, oh, it's by the right. way, with everyone bagging... Prime Minister's right on this. You reckon? Yep. 
Well, don't say that because uh, Terry's Sorry, my Terry. good friend. No, 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 no. Uh, we're both wrong. He'll be saying we're both. Look, I probably haven't summarised it properly, guys. Read the Herald Sun. I think it's also in the uh, Daily Telegraph. Wherever you read Terry McCran, read him tomorrow and uh, to let me know that I'm an idiot or not. Better still not. And by the way, since you started bagging Australia Post, I should say the lovely people at my local post office, really nice people. They are. Actually, I'm going to go into bat for my local post office too. There you go. They're important. They're key. But it is the case that letters now take longer. They've changed it's priority post. Well, it's important. Well, someone's fault. It's important. Daniel's Unless Crohn's. they're in Victoria, it's no one's fault. I'm trying to remember. You're not a Richmond supporter. Andrew, no way. No. I, I have to admit, I for am. those who are Victorian and who care about the AFL, I'm a passionate Western Bulldogs member. I don't have any interest in the grand final so, on Saturday. So you're not going to have Andrew. anyone around. No, but the point is... And I'm not here, breaking the law. No. Here is Victoria, right? It's sending drones over people's backyards, checking, are you holding an illegal barbie? Or are you, you know, wandering the streets with your Richmond clobber going to a party? It's got a drone and the Premier says, that's fine. Why would you care if there's a drone watching your every move? Oh. Because if you're doing the right thing, if you're following the rules, when he says rules, it's always with capital R, you've got nothing to The argument to of an authoritarian. Snap. Snap. Where does it stop? Well... What upset me is when we had a slight easing of the restrictions here in Victoria the other day, we had people saying, the government's giving us our freedom. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The government's giving us our freedom. Oh, oh it's a gift. Thank <laughs> you, Uncle Dan. That's the start of thank you, Joseph Stalin, Andrew, for letting me live. But then I felt guilty and I said to my wife, I think of myself less because I am thankful that now I can go for a walk that's 90 no. minutes not 60 minutes. I know. I know. That's how I feel too. Oh, I, I feel know. like uh, Stockholm Syndrome, know. you know. I'm being I grateful that the thief has given me back uh, one percent of my... A tiny, yes, exactly. tiny thing back. Exactly and correct. maybe on Sunday, please, we can have a coffee with two people outside if no please, one's within 100 Dan. metres. Please, Daniel. Oh, yes. Oh, oh saviour. Hey, um, Borat, Sasha Baron Cohen. Yes. Right? He's now made a follow-up of his hoax Borat movie, right? Uh, going to the US, it's, it isn't out yet, it's just a trailer out yet, going to the US to prank people, again, particularly conservative people, he, he likes pranking them. Um, and if you believe the media, he caught out Donald Trump's close advisor, Rudy Giuliani, giving, uh, got hoaxed him into giving an interview to his fake blonde assistant or daughter. And then... This is a photo release, but not the clip. You, so you, don't you ended up in a hotel room. Hotel room, her room, lying on a bed with his head, hand down his pants. And everyone said, oh, you're masturbating or whatever. Well, I'm allowed to say that word at 7.30. I don't know. Whatever it is. Uh, the media abuse and ridicule of Julian has been intense because he's associated with Trump. Um, even though Giuliani has tweeted that Barrett, this Barrett video is a complete fabrication, I was tucking in my shirt after taking off the recording. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's unpack that. I was tucking in my shirt. Yeah. Well, if you're sitting on the bed and you're tucking in the shirt, I think if you lean back, and you put, okay. I don't know how uh, old folks do it. Old folks. We'll I don't know. With that. No, but you don't believe it. You, you, you're sneering. You, my wife didn't believe it. You don't believe it. Look, I haven't seen it. We've only seen the stills. Look, I'll still, I'll, 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 I'll still go into bat for Donald Trump saving Western civilization in a couple of weeks. I'll still in, go into bat for Rudy Giuliani after 9-11, tucking in my shirt, really. Well, here's, let me tell and you why. And Borat, what, what, he's done, what Cohen does is cheap anyway. Yeah, cheap. no, it's cheap. But, 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 but let me t just give you my theories, right? <laughs> One on, is that on. someone who's actually seen the clip says it's not what you think. Yep. So, but leave that to, uh, aside. The media's judging about this one photo. Leave, to, leave it to the side. If he was, in fact, doing what people think, we would have got the clip, That's not the true. still. That's true. Second, he wouldn't have left Giuliani just lying like that where it's ambiguous. He would have waited until the guy took off his pants or something. Really did. Oh, so you, gotcha. So you think maybe a conservative might have been misrepresented by the media? I suspect you will find that the truth is not what so many in the media say. And would that stun you? No. No. Should we have a little... I will not pour you another glass of this whiskey if I'm right. OK. That's a good deal. Isn't OK. It? And, and I was about to clink, but then I realised no clinking, no shaking of hands. No shaking of hands. Prost to you. Prost.
John Ruskin, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Andrew. Folks, coming up next, the great Alan Jones. What does what whiskey does Alan Jones drink? I'd like to know. And after that, Paul Murray from me. Good night.